Mike, good morning. Morning, Denise. The Family Business Roundtable this morning went really well. I agree. Yeah. Great topics. I think the topic is so important, and today we really focused in on succession in family businesses. And we looked around something that um, Kohler and Lubke, from um, a book that they've written about business mm -hmm. owners and transactions, um, term the three T's. Yeah. So, and our folks, you know, our, our members of the Family Business Roundtable really responded well to that. So the three T's, the training, right. the transaction, and the transition, and the transition were the important things that we talked about. So training, I mean, wasn't it amazing to really it, it, hear about people's needs in training? It was great because, you know, um, we had the uh, first generation, so to speak, and then we had the second generation, the people that they're actually transitioning the business to. So we got both perspectives. And, you know, we talked a little bit about creating standing operating procedures, um, training uh, uh, skills, uh, not assuming that you have the right skills, but doing the gaps analysis and things of that nature, um, creating swim lanes. I thought it was very powerful. Yeah, it was very, very good. And the fact that training isn't something that you do overnight. Yeah. So if you're doing succession planning, identifying the gaps, yeah. um, looking at who in the next generation is going to yeah. fill those roles, and then realizing training is mentoring. Mm -hmm. It could happen over the course of several years. It's coursework. Yeah. It's, it's using the abilities that you have that you might yeah. use a disc profile to assess. But Training, very, very important. You know, and, and the thing I thought that was a really good um, example, or at least uh, uh, we underscored the notion that you can train in skill sets, right? You can learn how to type, for example, but that experience, you know, you can't replace 45 years of experience and just download it in a standard operating procedure manual, right? That's so true. I mean, you have to it's have some so experience true. to get a toolbox, and so it takes time. Mm -hmm. So many times, to that point, yeah the first generation might stay on as a consultant, yeah. right? It might be their defined role is maybe a day or two a week I'm there to consult so yeah. that when these things that are more in-depth knowledge that you can't expect someone to know in four or five or six years, you can now tap into the first gen's database, so to speak, you know, what they have in their Yeah, head, right? and I thought it was a great point. You, you referenced that, you know, video, use videotape, yeah. right? I mean, you can write things down, but so many people are visual and so why not videotape somebody doing their job and you know let them talk what they're doing but videotape is is a great idea especially with today's technology yeah. so in the cloud your video training can sit yeah and can be referred to by anybody at any time so that was part of the training discussion yeah. and getting the second gen ready to assume the leadership mm -hmm. roles mm -hmm.